What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John for Project Ellsworth. The last couple of weeks, I've been picking things up here and there, and I haven't done a haul video to show you what I've grabbed. I've been to Spirit Halloween, Target, Dollar Tree, ShopRite, and Best Buy, and I figured I'd shoot a video and, as always, show you guys what I picked up. This is another haul video. And a good day to you, too, sir. As always, I hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. All right, so the first place I guess I'll touch on is Spirit Halloween. I didn't pick up very much there this time, but I did pick up a couple things. Got this Michael Myers shot glass. I am approaching 10 years sober, so I don't really have... I'm not doing shots of iced tea or juice, but I thought this would look cool down here in my man cave. Maybe I'll throw it up there on my NECA shelf with all my Michael Myers stuff. So I grabbed that guy and I picked up this t-shirt. Most of the time when I find t-shirts at Spirit Halloween that I like, they do not have 2XL, which is what I wear. Your boy's a little bit portly. Don't hold it against me. All right, so I picked this up, creeping it real. I've seen this several times over the last I want to say they had it there last year as well but I've never seen a 2XL so they had it this time so I grabbed one what's this thing this was 15 bucks uh and I get a discount because my son works for that company so always good all right and the other thing I picked up at Spirit Halloween is this mystery universal monsters pack and I figured I would open it here just to see what is inside I would really like to have either Frankenstein or the creature from the Black Lagoon. So that means I definitely will not get one of those. Pardon the noise, maybe I'll mute it. And what did I get? Whoa! The Gill Man. I got the creature from the Black Lagoon, very cool. He's one of the ones I wanted and it usually doesn't work out that way. It's very, very good. Mystery bags and me usually don't do too well together. All right, so very awesome. Good payoff. So now I officially have, I think, two Creature from the Black Lagoon, Gilman, which, whatever you want to call them, collectibles. I got this one and I got that bendy thing that I bought a couple weeks ago at, uh, at BAM. All right, moving on to Target. Last year, I think I realized that I did not own this movie in any format whatsoever, and my son mentioned it two weeks ago, three weeks ago, one of the times we were in Spirit Halloween, that he'd never seen it. So, at Target, I got Beetlejuice for a whopping $5. I just got the standard definition because I haven't seen this movie in many, many years, long enough ago that I remember it, but... I kind of don't, if you know what I'm saying. I'm kind of fuzzy. Uh, I just recently watched Gremlins for the first time in probably 20 or 25 years. And it was not nearly as good as I remember it being when I watched it before. So hopefully I don't experience the same thing with Beetlejuice. But rather than spend a bunch of money on the 4K that's floating around out there right now or a Blu-ray, I figured I'd buy the $5 edition. And if anybody really, really likes it, we can always upgrade as a movie collector, I find that uh, I do that constantly anyway, so why would Beetlejuice be any different? All right, moving on to Dollar Tree. I bought this for absolutely no reason other than it looks cool and it was $1. It's just this little box that I probably will find some use for. I don't know what that use will be, but I'll put something in here. This is, I got like a kind of little office setting down here in my basement. So I don't know, paper clips, pins, whatever. It's a $1 box. So I'm not going to be too hard on myself for buying it. But I thought it looked pretty cool. It is kind of coming apart already though. So that's what you get for a dollar. And the other thing that I got at Dollar Tree were these skulls that are solar powered. I thought that was pretty cool. So let's see. Turn it on. On. So they have like reflectors in their eyes. I thought that was pretty neat. And they all right, there you go. Yeah, they're, uh, they haven't been sitting in anything solar. They've been sitting down here actually still in the bag. So absolutely no light getting to them. 
Thought, I thought these were neat. They're definitely made out of some sort of clay. They're very heavy. Uh, and why not buy solar powered, solar powered skulls to keep down in your bed? They almost just look like they're wearing glasses. Whatever. They're wearing glasses and they have a mouthpiece in. And fangs. All right. So that's what I got at Dollar Tree. Moving on to ShopRite. Every once in a while, Shop, ShopRite every year gets like little Halloween doodads here and there. Most of the time, they're not even worth the time spent to look at them. But I did find a couple of cool things in there. I got this pumpkin. I mean, it is nothing but a decoration. It's not a candle holder. It's not anything. It, ha it serves no purpose other than to sit on the counter and look neat. I thought this was cool. Had to buy it. So... I think that it would have been better if the background there had been like black. Whatever. Being too picky. All right. And the other thing I got at ShopRite was this Frankenstein. Because I have a thing for Frankenstein. I thought he was neat. He's enough. He almost looks like he should have like a fence in front of him or something. I don't know. Or his hands should be straight out instead of like that. Like he's like he's holding on to something. Like he's, he's peeking at something is what he looks like. See, look, see if I can make him look. That's what he looks like he should be doing, peeking over something. All right, so I got Frankenstein. He was kind of expensive. I think he was like, what, what, not expensive, but for a useless doodad you find in ShopRite, I think he was like $12. But I thought he was cool. And he's the type of thing that when you see him, if you don't buy him, he will not, not be there the next time you go back. So grab Frankenstein. And the last place I went was Best Buy. And I finally picked this up. The Scream Factory Event Horizon. I'm looking right at it and almost forgot what I had in my hands. Wow. All right, the Scream Factory of Event Horizon. I picked this up one day last year on standard definition Blu-ray. Uh, standard Blu-ray. Standard definition DVD because oddly... I, I love this movie and I didn't have it in my collection until I did like a top 20 for 2020 type thing. I didn't even realize I didn't have it until I included that on a list. And when I went to pull it off my shelf, it wasn't there. So I bought it for like used for like three or $4 at um, FYE. And then I started seeing this popping up in uh, Best Buy. Didn't want to pull the trigger on it because it was more money than I wanted to pay for it. It was like $28 and I just didn't want to spend the money on it. But I finally got it. I think it was 22, 20, 22, something doesn't matter. I finally pulled the trigger on it and picked it up. And the last thing that I picked up was John Carpenter's The Thing in 4K. There was a steel book floating around out there for this that was gone like as soon as they announced it, it was gone. You can't get your hands on it. I know Dave from uh, David's Horror, I believe he got his hands on one. Him and Cody from h &S Collectibles get their hands on all the cool steel books. John doesn't. But I didn't want to wait for it. I wanted to get this movie, steel book or no steel book. I wanted to have this in my collection. It blows my mind that they've put several of John Carpenter's movies out uh, in 4K. But this one just came out. I, I don't understand how this movie was not the first movie that came out in 4K. That kind of baffles me. I, I, hopefully there was there a good reason for it because it doesn't make sense as to me sense to me as to why that would not be the best looking, coolest one in 4K of of the whole bunch. All right, that's it. I'm gonna get out of here and go edit this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Have a great weekend, folks. I'll see you in the next one.